Good morning, family of the vlog. Today is my last morning in China. How do I feel about this? Well, in order for me to emotionally process, I am doing a YouNow live stream right now, answering questions about my travels. Shout out to Jackie Vanberg, to Lauren, to Vegan Babe, to Megan, Kevin S, Stacy, the Kawaii Potato, Rachel Bell, Get Frit Brian, Jack's Vegan Recovery, so many people on the live stream. Yeah, creep hmm. of the Necro Dancer. We got Leo on the live stream, guys. They're asking Leo questions. This is so awesome. <laughs> after four years, I went to South Korea for a master degree. And then after two years, I went to Shanghai to work. It's nice to find people around the world who love animals and do random acts of kindness. Say goodbye to the fans, Leo. They love you. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much again for everything. You were the kindest host. Crisp, cold, sweet watermelon is the best. Simply this moment alone already means I've had a blissful day. I am so grateful to be here in the presence of you, Melon. My final couch surfing apartment. Goodbye, Leo. Goodbye, wonderful house. Goodbye, couch. Thank you for keeping me safe and rested. Oh, it's been so awesome. I am off back to my backpack with everything I own, for this trip at least, in it. And I got about, eh, what is it? 12, 10 bananas for the afternoon. This policeman just told me I have to put on a shirt. This is a public space. I guess that's China. Is this not the most epic spot that a podcast has ever been recorded in the history of podcasts? All right, let's do it. This is gonna be a random show. What is up, my plantriotic, plant-loving, and plant-interested friends out there? Welcome to another ep- I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for the support. Email me if you need anything. Much love, Dream Extreme, bye bye. Yes, love getting back into the podcast. I recorded a full hour by myself. I think I lost my voice. What has been my favorite part about China? A few things. I love that the people are social. Out in the streets at any given moment, you'll see old ladies dancing and you'll see guys uh, drinking tea, smoking cigarettes or pipes, which I don't like, but playing games. In America, I feel like old people are just like confined to a chair or a nursing home and they don't hang out. In China, it's like once they retire, it's like party time. They hang out, they socialize, and I love that about China. Um, and they're also very nice. You can go up and approach them and play the games that they're playing. I've loved that. I love that you can go to any Chinese restaurant, hole in the wall place, and order as much rice and vegetables and sometimes even steamed buns and vegan dumplings. In America, if you go to just your average American restaurant, you're gonna be eating a green salad and that's it as a vegan option. The hole in the wall, American standard joint, They're, they don't cater to vegans very well. It's just the truth. And in China, you can go anywhere and eat an amazing vegan meal. So I love that also. I love the weather, at least now in the summer, it's super hot, but in the winter, I hear it's pretty cold. My least favorite part about China is the smoking. 
so many of the men, vast majority of the men here over like 16 years old smoke cigarettes. It's everywhere, you can smoke inside, train stations, bathrooms, restaurants, everywhere. And they sometimes even smoke like holding their kids. The education on smoking needs to get way better here. It's super gross. Um, what else don't I like? The people spit everywhere. Maybe it's because their respiratory systems are so jacked up, but there's a lot of like spitting and loud noises. They don't value people's privacy here. Like they, they take poops in the public bathrooms with the doors open. Like they're just open about that. And um, there's just loud megaphones going off in the streets. Like if you're in the city, which is most of the places in China, uh, at least that you'd probably travel to, it is so loud everywhere. I don't really dig that. Those are my only qualms. It's a, it's a great place. Oh, and also that they restrict the internet. They claim, the government claims that they don't have Google or YouTube because they want to allow Chinese companies in order to serve the same purpose and serve their economy versus America, which I do understand, but I also think there's an element of it that is restricting people from fully educating themselves and the government is a little bit too authoritarian. That's my views on China, what I like, what I don't like. What you just saw me do is take a selfie with complete strangers who didn't ask me my name, what I do, but just said, can I take a picture with you? Puts it into perspective, like I would never do that to someone of another nationality or race uh, just because I grew up in a culture with diversity and I don't know, access to information of other cultures here. If they see a white person, it's like, whoa, this is a this is a big deal. It's just different. Hour and a half on the subway's got me sleeping. Here's another question that I'll answer. People ask me, how do you have the confidence to vlog in public? I'm in the middle of a you know subway train right now, and here's how I do it. Before I start a clip, I assess the situation. I see if it's appropriate, if I'm not gonna really disturb anyone. And then if I say, okay, we're on a subway, it's not a big deal, people are just sitting here, I turn on the camera and I tune out everything around me. All I'm focusing on right now is talking to you. So everything else around me, I'll worry about that later after I turn off the camera and see people staring at me. But for this present moment, all that matters is for me to get my message across to you. Don't worry about what other people think of you. All you are is a foreigner, or even if you're in your home country, you're just a person with a camera talking to it. You're not harming anyone. It's not the biggest deal. People are just gonna be like, huh, I wonder if they're doing a project, making a movie. It's all good. And chapter one of the Plantriotic Digital Nomad Experience comes to an end, my friends. 45 days of exploration, friends, pandas, dumplings. The experience has been a memorable one for a lifetime. Where will the boy go next as he works on his ebook, Eating Bananas and Walnuts? Well, you'll have to stay tuned to find out. I am boarding my flight. Thank you, China, for keeping me safe, for allowing me to have these amazing experiences. And even more than thank you to China, the country, thank you to the people that I met who housed me, all of my couch surfing hosts, Giuseppe, ev everyone that made this experience what it was for me. I'll never forget this time in my life. I'm sure I'll be back, China. Probably not for a while because I have a lot of places in the world to explore, but you've been real. Thank you. I'm now flying 12 hours direct from Shanghai to Los Angeles, also known as the place where my dog lives. 
All right, peace out. I'll see you guys when I get my first vegan meal. Carving up at 30,000 feet. I really couldn't sleep very much. I ended up watching two movies, working a lot on my computer. I slept maybe like three hours. It's like 7 a.m. in Shanghai. I'm probably gonna be a little bit messed up, but I feel good. Ready to see my parents. They're picking me up, of course, because they're the greatest. Happy to be in LA. My agenda for the rest of the day is buckly, jacuzzi, food, smoothies, and not having to use a VPN. To Thanks for picking me up, Mom. Jackson's home. What was your favorite vlog from China? Not the one where he does the handstands. I did not like Obviously. that one. What was my favorite vlog? I really liked the one with Giuseppe. Those parts with his Planchetic subscriber. He's the sweetest. Buckley! Hi, baby. <laughs> I know, I know. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Mm, I love you. I love you. Yeah. Oh, let's see the stash. Those are looking good. Yeah, they're looking good, but you told me not to touch them. Yeah, no, they're perfect. Let the healthy diet begin. Great snack. Thanks for getting it for me, Mom. Get a walk Buckley in a sec? Yes. I wonder what the next chapter of the tattoo session is, because I don't know what she's gonna do. What day is it? The is she gonna nine? fill it in? Is she gonna do the patterning? I'm not is it sure. The eight and the nine? Wherever I am in the world, from an elementary school student to a high school student to on my gap year to college to now traveling as a digital nomad, what stays the same is that every few months I come home and walk Buckley in the neighborhood. That never changes. Traveling is the bomb. I love it. But one of the benefits also of traveling is every once in a while coming home and getting to cook. I love to cook. <laughs> And we're back to my standard dinner. We got greens, Japanese and sweet potatoes, abundance of steamed vegetables, and some beans with nutritional yeast. Amaze. Veggie burger, and my, uh, some guacamole, some coleslaw, and a El Segundo beer. Looks delicious. How does it feel for me to be home, guys? That's how it feels. We've been, dream We've been dreaming extreme about Jackson coming home. Watching all your is. friends. So much for the healthy diet. My parents had four pints of Ben and Jerry's ice cream waiting for me. How good is that? Incredible. I'm gonna have some peanut butter cookies and then also some Chunky Monkey. Mm. Come on. Legendary. I don't know why I took Ben and Jerry's so long to come up with this. I know. Almond-based, delicious but, vegan ice cream. But at least they did. It's always been a great company. And good for them coming on board. Mm -hmm. Well, it feels to me at least like just a day ago we were sitting at the table sending me goodbye to China. Honestly, it feels like two seconds ago. Here I am now, eating on the vlog as you And know. now we're back from China um, and the next adventure continues soon. I'm happy to be home. Tomorrow's gonna be a very restful day. I'll vlog because I vlog every day and that's my life now and I'm happy and I love it, but definitely gonna try to sleep like 12 hours, take some chill time, recuperate from all the crazy travel, eat a lot of good food. So grateful to be here with my family, to be safe after my adventures and to have Buckley and abundance of good food. So much love everyone. Dream Extreme. Bye everyone.